welcome back to the Firefly Studio. This is Gina. I've got a another friendship jur uh, journal to share with you guys. Um, if you have been following me, you know I've done four uh, previously, and so this one is slightly different to those. Um, I had started kind of piecing together fabrics that I had been gifted. Um, with Happy Mail, and then I had some trims. So again, keeping with the friendship thing, I, I wanted to incorporate those, so it's a real eclectic mix, as you can see. But I love how it's come out, because I even added a couple of pieces of um, some of my favorite materials that I've had that I wanted to put into a journal, and I just combined them all, just um, did you know, my version of a patchwork, which is very, very rustic. Um, but I love it. It's it's mine, and so I'm very happy with it. It's got amazing feel to it. Um, this one I've managed to put in two lots of the pages that you guys uh, sent to me. And so we'll go inside. Um, trying to think of... There was... No, yeah, this was just entirely bits and pieces of fabrics. Um, like I said, they came in happy mail. The closure is just a little eyelet, and then some sorry silk that I like. And like I said, it, none of it matches, but I actually like that because I'm striving to not have everything matchy matchy, um, and I think I think I've probably achieved it on this. So again, yeah, let's go inside here. I have not had the chance to add pockets. My thinking on this is it's going to be an ongoing thing. I can um, pull these down, add pockets to it, and then there I can keep adding um, letters and cards that um, I get along the journey. So, as you'll see, the way it's designed, this it really isn't going to hold itself, but that's totally fine by me. These have um, actually proven to be quite a challenge putting together and this makes five journals and I've just counted I'm going to have to do another seven so I'm going to end up with 12 journals out of this which is just amazing but it will fill up a whole shelf. Once I've got it complete and I'm not going to put any kind of deadline on it because I've decided um, I'm, I'm going to aim to do one per week, but that may not to always take place because I want to take my time on it. And I kind of like the idea of each cover maybe being a different technique. Um, so that's my thinking on it. So it's probably going to take me, you know, quite a while to get through it. But once I have, I will show you guys what the shelf will look like because I'm so excited about it. But yeah, it's still just amazing. Every time I pull these out and go through them, I cannot believe um, how much work you guys have put into these entries. They're just beautiful, and I just love getting them down and looking through. So much uh, texture and so many different um, styles and techniques. It's just, I, I just love it. So yeah, it's been, um, like I said, it's been, because of the amount of um, things that everybody has included, it's been a real challenge putting these together. And uh, I'm hoping, you know, that this is, this is going to be, well, I think it's the best way for me to keep them, to be honest, is uh, the way I've done it. If I have to go back and then reinforce, um, I may have to pull out later, but I'm hoping that I won't need to do that. Just beautiful. And again, if you're new to the channel um, and want to see these more in depth where I pull everything out, um, just go through and you'll see I've got the entries um, on there, and I haven't put these in any particular order. I've just tried to to match them up to where I think that um, they complement each other.
Okay guys, I don't really have anything else to share with you. I am still working on three more journals to get uh, completed and it just is taking me so, so long um, to do. But um, a lot of that is down to the fact I'm, I'm just not pushing myself as hard as I was. I'm um, trying to experiment with some other techniques and I've, I'm taking another course that I'm working on, project with that. So I'm staying busy. Uh, it's just, you know, not necessarily things that are going in the shop. So anyways, I hope everybody is okay out there. Hopefully we're nearing the end of these um, lockdowns and we can start to get back to normal. But you guys stay safe and I will look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.